All right, welcome to this Java introduction for Minecraft and Hightail modding. And in this series that is going to run for the entirety of this December, we're basically going to learn the ins and outs, the first steps on how to actually program with Java. Right, I purposefully named this the Java introduction for both Minecraft and Hightail modding as Hightail modding will also require Java knowledge to basically start. And even though it's probably a way ways off, it's still a very good idea to start early with this and familiarize yourself with Java. So for this series, we're going to be using Java 16. This is because Minecraft recently changed to Java 16. Therefore, we're going to be using that because it's probably the version that Minecraft will use for quite a while in the future. And the difference between the versions aren't that crazy, really, because the basics are going to be the same almost no matter what version we're going to be using. Right, and for the entire series, you will have individual gists and a GitHub repository available for you. So the entire code is going to be available for you to copy over and download and play around with. And this really is built up as a complete beginner's guide. And even if you don't want to necessarily do Minecraft modding or Hightail modding, you can still watch this series. It's still going to be very relevant to you because once again, the absolute basics of Java are going to be the same no matter what. Right now, the first thing that we're going to need is we're going to need the JDK. This is the Java development kit. And this basically enables us to actually work and develop with Java. I've linked the open JDK from Adoptium in the description below. I've already selected Tamarin 16 right here. So this is JDK 16, as you can see. I've also already selected my operating system as well as my architecture. And I'm going to download the MSI here, which basically immediately installs the JDK onto my machine. You just go through with this installation like any other program. So there's nothing crazy about this. Just install this and then we can continue. After you've installed the JDK, you're also going to need an IDE that is an integrated development environment. And it's basically a fancy text editor in which we can write code. And for that, we're going to be using IntelliJ IDEA. Here, the community version is free and open source. So it's perfectly great for us. And you can simply click the download button and it's going to download and once again, just install IntelliJ IDEA onto your PC like any other program. And when you start IntelliJ for the first time, you're going to be greeted with a welcome to IntelliJ IDEA screen. Now it's going to be looking a little bit different from this, but no worries whatsoever. The main thing is that you have the new project, the open and the get from VCS buttons right here and you're going to be choosing the new project button. It's going to open a window that looks similar to this. And the main thing up here is the project SDK. So it's very important if you have multiple Java or JDK versions installed, make sure to select 16 and whatever the version behind here is, is not that important. But what is important is that the first number is 16. Also make sure that you select the Java project right here and then you can select next. And then we want to check this right here. So create project from template because we want to make a command line app. This simply already generates some things for us that are going to be easier for us to start basically. And then click next again. And this will open this window where you can define the project name, the project location and the base package. Now I'm going to explain quickly what those are. Project names should be fairly self-explanatory. This is simply the name of your project. Then the project location is simply the location at which your project is being saved. And then the base package. This is a very interesting thing uh, related to Java, basically. So class, uh, the script files, so to speak, of Java are located in what are called packages. And the convention there is that you basically start with sort of a domain. And the idea is, for example, if this was Google, then you could do com Google, right? So you always take the top level domain with the ending here at the front dot and then whatever name you have. So I'm going to be choosing net Joe. I would highly advise for you to just take your own name in here, whether it be your online name or your real name. Like if your name is Richard, do something like net dot Richard. That's totally fine. That's okay. Uh, however, I do advise not to take Kaltenjo here because then people, you know, might be looking at this and we're like, well, you didn't write that code, right? Like that, that was done by Kalpen Joe, because like, that's not you. So I, I was just to uh, advise this, just put your own name in here. Don't put anyone else's name in here. It's kind of weird, to be honest, <laughs> but that's just something, right? But once that has been done, let's click the finish button and it will open a window such as this. So now the main window here has been opened basically. And there's a lot of things in here and a lot of confusing stuff, but Let's not worry about this too much. 
I'm going to say a few words here. So number one, we can open this Java introduction here. We can click this open and then click this open. And you can see that this is here, this main with this C. This is the main class. Now the main class is a very important thing. This is basically where all of our execution of all everything that we're writing will happen. For the time being, what we're going to do is, I would like to say that we're going to ignore most of this stuff here. The only thing that interests us, we're going to zoom in, control, holding control and then just scrolling with the mouse key, you can zoom in here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to focus basically on this right here. So between this curly bracket and this curly bracket, that is all that we care about. We're going to sort of black out all of this and we're going to black out all of this below because we don't want to understand that yet. However, in the coming tutorials, of course, we're going to go through this and at the end of the series, you will understand everything that is written in here. But the first few tutorials, we're going to ignore this and only really focus on what happens between this and this curly bracket. So that's number one. Right, and with that, the project has been set up as well. And that is going to be this sort of overview right here. So Java introduction for Minecraft and Hytale modding, as you can see, and all of the actual, well, YouTube videos that are going to be here for this month, let's say, are displayed right here. So if you are watching this sort of in the present, so while this is coming out, then this is the actual schedule that we're going to follow. Basically, of course, we're right now here, right? Java 1, and then we're going through some of the basics, right? And then every Sunday, starting at the 12th of December, basically, we're going to have an exercise and a solution as well. So that's going to be very interesting indeed. I highly recommend just taking your time going through all of this. If this is the future and the entire Java introduction is already out, then of course that's going to be a little bit easier for you. You can just follow it at your own pace. Otherwise making, you know, basically following this day by day is also going to be really cool. But this would be it for the first tutorial right here. And like I said, when the playlist is out, it's going to be displayed right now on your screen. Otherwise, you can, of course, continue with Java 2 data types as soon as that's out. And I would say I genuinely hope that this introduction is going to be useful to you and take your time with it. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. So, yeah.